What's up everybody, welcome to Fallout 4 Settlements. Today we have something a bit different. Uh, there was recently a cozy cabin challenge on the settlements reddit page. I didn't participate myself, but there were so many cool builds that uh, basically I've decided to do something similar. Um, I'm going to discuss uh, a bit the idea behind the build, what I did, what I wanted to achieve, how did I approach it and so on, since I think it's important for immersion. But if you don't care any of that, uh, the, uh, you can just skip to the actual tour. Uh, so the tour starts at uh, 1 minute and 56 seconds. So I wanted to make a survivalist home for myself, but uh, taking into account some important ideas. Uh, the most important thing for me was safety. I don't see a point in uh, making the best possible home somewhere in the woods or somewhere in the open where just any random maniac can uh, pass by and attack you or even worse to just take all of your stuff or all of your stuff while you are away so i wanted to make sure that my home is reclusive and hidden i found a location in the hills away from all the madness of the commonwealth but still close enough to abernathy farm so i can trade for food and close enough to the wicked shipping uh, fleet lockup which is a great source of materials and items I think there is enough stuff to make a small settlement, let alone a home for, for one person. And also Vault uh, 111 refugee base is fairly close as well. And basically that was also my second restriction. I wanted to make sure that everything I build is possible for one person with enough time and ingenuity to do alone. I didn't want to make anything or use any object slash materials that I didn't thought I personally wouldn't be able to find on build build on my own if I were to survive on that location. Uh, that being said, let's begin. Just as, as a reference, uh, this is how the location looked like before. I like the fact that it's far away from everything, that there is a water source, but for me it was still out in the open, which was my main concern. That's why I basically built a small mountain range and hidden the entrance to the valley behind. Uh, it was very important for me to blend it uh, as seamlessly as possible with the rest of the forest so it seems as the rocks were always there so it's you don't it's not very apparent that I made the, the, the mountain range so everything you see now all the foliage trees leaves rocks everything was manually placed placed and um, I think it kind of looks decent enough Here's the cave entrance. I try to hit it even more with some of the foliage and vines. If you look closely, there is a small speaker hidden in the foliage that I took from the Starlight Drive-In. And I like to imagine that I managed to record one of the Deathclaws screaming before I killed it. So I played it on a speaker to scare off people from even entering the cave. If somehow you are brave enough to enter, there are several bear traps all over the place and some tin cans to tip me off that someone is coming. Here we are, home sweet home. The main, material, the main materials that I've used for my settlement are of course wood, since it's more than abundant uh, in the forest and different pieces of junk and sheet metal that I've managed to salvage from wicked shipping uh, fleet lockup and other close locations. As you can see, uh, this is where I process all the wood. Uh, I've connected the battery to the pressure plate and the pressure plate to the bus blade, so it's easy for me to work on logs and uh, make planks. There's also my trusty reaper. And as you will see, batteries are usually my main source of energy since I don't think it would be realistic for me to find enough fuel or fusion cores for all the different types of generators. Uh, I find a way to reuse and recharge the batteries, uh, so that's why they're so great, but you will see that uh, later on. Um, here we have my junk pile, basically all the stuff that I dragged from the Commonwealth that I thought uh, might be useful for, for my little settlement. My main source of meat are the animals from the forest. Um, this is where I hang to drain them. And here I take the skin off and cut the meat. I use the skin to trade uh, with other settlements and I also make a lot of leather armor which I also use for trade.
since it's very hard to preserve food in uh, these conditions one of the methods i use for conservation is the smokehouse as you can see there's the fire pit and then the smoke goes via the pipe uh, into the smokehouse My Bremen is a good source of milk and manure for, for my garden. And even if it dies, it will be a good source of meat. Um, I traded for it with one of the farm settlements. My trusty dog usually stays here to, to guard the place while I'm out and about in the Commonwealth. Here we have a small water purifier that I managed to fix up. It's powered by batteries, but since uh, water source is the most important thing, the, it's also connected to a small uh, solar panel that I found. This is a trailer that I made uh, to make it easier for myself to drag back all the junk, uh, but I use it only when I find enough fuel for my, for my bike. I would like to re-engineer it to work with batteries as well, but as for now, it's something way too complex for me and I don't want to risk destroying the bike uh, in the process. Here's my little workshop where I tinker with all kinds of things. I found these uh, protectant parts, so I'm trying to put them all together since it would be amazing help, I mean, to either have him with me when I'm scavenging or just to protect the home uh, while I'm gone. I also have all kinds of materials and parts uh, that might come in handy. For half of them, I have no idea what they are, but if they look interesting enough, I bring them home since you never know when they might when I might need them. I also found this uh, laser turret and a small engine, but I didn't manage to fix either of them. Hopefully, uh, I'll find some help in all the schematics and magazines that I've found. Uh, here in the back, we have a small uh, relaxation area, uh, a garden, and also this is where I recharge my batteries. I decided to use the strong uh, water current uh, to place a small turbine uh, to produce energy, and also wind often blows through the canyon, so basically I use wind and water to recharge the batteries. As I mentioned before, um, the food preservation is kind of an issue since I don't have a fridge. So another thing I do is to put the food in the barrels and keep them in the cold river. Uh, my garden is small, but it's uh, enough for my needs. It's important to water it regularly, but since it's absolutely not realistic for me to have some huge water pump or irrigation system, I decided to use rain and gravity. So basically the big barrel at the top uh, gets filled when it's raining or even I can take the water from the purifier and fill it up manually. Then I just need to open the valves on the pipes and the gravity takes the water to, to the plants. Um, here's my outhouse. I try to place it as far away from the house as possible because of the smells and the box beneath the seat can be taken out and I use it, uh, I use the feces for my compost. I also thought that it's important to have at least a small greenhouse since the plants outside are very vulnerable to, to, to the weather. Up here we have a small scouting area so I can keep an eye on what's going outside. I also have some beehives since they are a good source of food and also good for my garden. I don't know if you ever saw a beehive, but there are usually two types. 
I think mine look close enough. I started working on my second floor, but as you can see, it's still a work in progress. Here I made uh, an escape route in case the shit hits the fan and I can defend my home, I can always run into the hills. Uh, during the night I use this uh, piece of metal to block the entrance and uh, place a mine behind it just in case. Um, last but not least, let's check out the house. Again, I try to use materials that I thought were realistic, so there is not a single big wall or, or floor piece or anything like that. Also, all the furniture is made out of many different uh, junky objects. This is the area where I work on my weapons, since they are of course very important. As you can see, it's very cluttered, but there is a uh, logic behind the madness. Um, here I'm working on my tranquilizer gun that I might use to catch some more animals and maybe try uh, to do domesticate them. Here I have uh, all the tools, parts and broken weapons I could ever need. I am also currently working on my shish kebab. And this is where I keep my, my armor. Usually I just wear a combat armor with some leather coat over it. Um, I have my favorite sniper and assault, assault rifle and a pistol. So I can take uh, them with me. I don't think it's realistic to have more weapons than that. I am also tinkering a bit with ammo. I found some cannonballs, so I'm trying to take the gunpowder out of them and fill the empty ammo shells that I have. This is my bedroom. I keep all the important and unique stuff that I found here. There's of course a shotgun and a pistol near the, the bed in case I need to defend myself during the night. I've managed to drag an old furnace that I use during the winter. It's enough uh, just to fire up some wood inside and it basically irradiates heat. It's nothing spectacular. I have my fishing rod and my fishing hat since I can go to the docks uh, from here. And this is my kitchen. I have a lot of conserved food since it's really practical. I try to trade for it as often as I can. And there is also some food from my garden and some meat ready for the smokehouse. I don't do any of the cooking inside since I don't have a stove. So I just prepare the food here and put it on the grill or cook it uh, in the pot. Okay guys, so that's basically it. Uh, let me know what you think. Is it realistic enough? Do you think it's feasible for someone with uh, enough time, will and maybe a bit of luck to put this place together and survive on his um, or her own in the Commonwealth? Uh, I hope you like it. I've put a lot of effort in the, all the small details. Uh, as always, like, share and if you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments. See you guys next time.